Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and today we're going to be looking at a continuation of last week's video when we were talking about holiday season for SEO. We want to be optimizing your website for search engine optimization throughout the holidays that are coming up. How do you ramp up and get some extra traffic? Today specifically we're going to be talking about rich snippets. Not just your regular Google snippet, but how to do structured data. Before I do, I want to tell you about Liquid Web. You guys, if you need any help inside the WordPress world, you're asking questions, you need better support about WordPress questions, be sure to get a hosting company just like Liquid Web that can help you improve your website, answer all your questions, and be that support team, not only to host your website, but to secure your website and to answer those hard to answer questions about your theme or plugins or anything to do with WordPress. Be sure to check them out, and there's a coupon code you can see as well. Tell them Corey Ashton sent you their way. Hey, so let's get to it. Let's start the tutorial right now, all about structured data for your SEO. So if I'm doing a search inside of Google for, let's say, WordPress San Antonio, and of course there's going to be a couple of ads, people are paying for placement right but there's also going to be organic placement like this webtegrity wordpress web design san antonio this is this whole little section right here is called a snippet how do you have a rich snippet though something that looks more like this because you can actually do this with schema see this where it pulls out the rating for its particular product on a page how do you do that how do you plot some of the specifics about the actual product itself. There are ways to do that by wrapping code around each and every one of your products on your website. How do you do that? Well, it's called Structured Data and it's from schema.org. This is another really great article by Yoast.com. Uh, if you're familiar at all with Yoast, it's one of my absolute favorite and free WordPress plugins for search engine optimization. This article, which I'll put a link to it in the description box below, it helps you understand what's called structured data. It allows you to understand that there's a whole section that Google provides of actual codes that you would wrap around your specific products or perhaps even events, whatever that might be. And then adding this extra code to your products, it allows Google to better understand that, oh, this is a product on the page. Oh, these are the descriptives to that product. Oh, this is the major picture. Got it. When it understands, it can extract those things and go put them out on the search results, which is exactly what you want them to do. But if you haven't wrapped that bit of code around the product and the description of those products around the event and the description of that event or around your recipe or your book or whatever it might be, Google doesn't know or Google struggles with pulling that data. We want to make it super easy for Google to brag on this. And you can do that by using structured data for rich snippets. I'm again putting the link to this in the description box below. So if you'd like to, you can go ahead and pause me right now, get over to this article and read through this. I'm just trying to better explain it to you so that you can actually implement it. You want to go in and have a product really display inside of those search results. Here's some example code that you can wrap around uh, your individual product. So the type, it describes what kind of product this is. So maybe it's a camera. The name, the image, the description super important that you're able to pull those things out and in a sense give a highlighter to them let google know pay attention to this area pay attention to this area the brand the ratings value or the review count super important any offers that might be going on if it's on sale or something a specific review that the author has given about this product people love shopping by reviews and google loves showing reviews so be certain to highlight those if you offer those and this is an example of what it looks like. Now, please don't get overwhelmed right now. There are plugins that you can add to your WordPress website that help you identify these different areas on a product page or on an event page or on a recipe or a book, something like that. There are plugins, and I'll put those in the description box below as well. If you'd like to test your website right now to kind of see what the results would be for your existing website for, for how it's structured right now, I'll put the link to this. This is a free Google tool. You come over here into your domain name and click run test and it'll spin out and tell you 
on that specific page, whatever page you're putting on here, what it can read. So it's important to kind of see those results and see if it's already pulling out the right bit of content. If it's not, you'll want to use one of the plugins I suggest. And one of the better ones out there that I've been able to find for you is WP SEO Structured Data Schema. So this is markup schema. I want you to know that it is tested with 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 WordPress, right? And it's got 40,000 plus active installs and it's been updated four months ago. So as of today, as of this video, it has really great reviews. Um, but these are some of the things that it can highlight for you. It can highlight organizations, local businesses, news articles, blog postings, events, products, videos, services, reviews, aggregated ratings, and restaurants. This is the markup schema that it already has inside of its plugin. So be sure to come here, check this out, read all about its support and its documentation. It has really great support, really great documentation. And uh, it's, this is gonna be one of those free plugins that's gonna take you to that next level for search engine optimization. All right, y'all, if that was a little bit advanced and you think, wait, 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 pump the brakes, Corey. I need to back up for a minute. I'm not even sure how to edit my snippets. I've never heard of Yoast before. Don't worry about it. I have an entire playlist to help you get familiar with Yoast and just to simply improve your organic search results. I want you to do that. So I'm putting the link to that playlist in the description box below. Go watch that playlist and improve at least this year as a New Year's resolution. Be sure that all of your pages, all of your posts, and all of your products have an optimized snippet. Then if you're saying, okay, now I've got that, check that off, I can go to the next level. That is this markup schema, this structured data. You want to be doing this to take your website to that next level. If you think, gosh, I'm not getting enough traffic, all of my competition is outranking me, this is how you kick their tush. This is how you compete competitively and get aggressive with all of your search engine optimization. I hope this has helped you. I hope you all stick around. Be sure to subscribe because every week I'm creating a video just like this to help you improve your online marketing inside of the world of WordPress. Not just WordPress stuff. We talk about search engine optimization and social media marketing and how to be a great freelancer and make some money doing all this. I've got all sorts of playlists on this channel, over 400 videos to help you all in the budget of free. I hope you're having a great one. I'll see y'all next WordPress Wednesday. Bye everyone. Hey y'all, thanks for sticking around. Uh, if you're interested in my health journey, I don't really have too much of an update this week because this is a lapse week. I actually shot this video last week uh, as I was in the hospital. Uh, so I had to shoot it early and get it in the queue and schedule it out. So uh, I hope that you're just saying prayers for me in recovery as I just went through a major surgery. And I'm hoping to come back to you in a week or two with really great news and tell you that I'm feeling better that I'm up and running and uh, that I am hopefully kicking a cervical cancer's tush and becoming a survivor of cancer. All of your prayers, all of your support, all of your well wishes, definitely heartfelt. Thank you so much for being such an encouragement to me. The WordPress community, my YouTube community, all of y'all have just wrapped your arms around me digitally, giving me a big squeeze and a hug. Uh, you've sent me tweets and DMs and emails and gifts and cards and t-shirts and You've just blown my mind with all the kindness that you've given me. So thank you so much. I look forward to being back on my feet and hopefully back in front of the camera. I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.